Few have attempted to swim across the treacherous Strait of Gibraltar. James Cracknell and David Williams are about to do just that. But on their 12-mile swim from Europe to Africa, they'll face raging currents, massive cargo ships and the odd man-eater. There's killer whales, which I didn't know. I knew about the sharks, and I wasn't talking about the killer whales. David has come here to support James on the final leg of an amazing sport relief challenge. First, he successfully rowed the English Channel, despite capsizing after just two minutes. Then cycled south through France and Spain, riding through the pain of a massive blister on his bum. That's not nice. I've seen, it. I've seen enough. <laughs> I thought I wanted to see it, but I was wrong. An incredible 1,460 miles in just seven days. But the toughest part of his challenge was still to come. I woke up feeling really nervous because it's the weakest of the disciplines that I was doing. I didn't want to have come all that way and then fail in the last 12 miles. Greg White, who trained David for his 2006 swim across the English Channel, brought this band of intrepid swimmers up to three. And off they went. We could see uh, Africa all, all the time when we were swimming, which is kind of good and bad in some ways, because you place tricks on you. you think, oh, I'm sure it was nearer, you know, 20 minutes ago. It was a pretty tough swim, because it was very rough. It got more and more of a struggle as, as it went on. But there was a welcome distraction on its way. The first I felt of it was uh, I just felt suddenly a sudden kick of water. Yeah, I was like, what, what's that? Because you just see a big shape under the water. So there's a whale upside down about four feet below me and I looked ahead and there are two others. It was, it was amazing. There, it's there, right there. That's awesome. And just the idea that it's looking at you, I don't know, you can't quite describe it, but that is just kind of about as beautiful as life gets. Pilot whales, tankers, waves, nothing could stand in their way. And after four hours and 36 minutes, David Williams and James Cracknell reached their goal. When we were there together and just about to touch the rock, I thought, that is amazing. We were in Europe, we are now in Africa. And I really think James's journey has a real symbolic power, which is, you know, Africa is nearer than you think. He's done an amazing thing. We hope you liked the video. Why not subscribe for more great content from Comet Relief? Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three. On the right way. One, two, three. That's it, Rio. On the left. Two, three. And the arms. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.